Hey friend, thank you for joining me today as we discuss bags, buckets, and lids. Thank you for joining me. There have been quite a few questions about purchasing grains and other type of food products in either buckets or bags and the proper way to take care of the items once you've brought them and you've brought them into your home. So I figured I would take a quick minute and discuss this with you to help hopefully answer any questions that you may have about this topic. Okay, first I want to show you a bucket. Now, I use Fred Becker's as my supplier for my grains and other foods that I purchase. And what I'm going to tell you as far as how they take care of their products before they give them to me is specific to Bread Beckers. You may want to check with your supplier to see how they take care of uh, the wheat and other foods that they offer for sale to make sure that it matches what I'm telling you or so you know if there are any differences, you know how to take care of it for yourself. Okay, so this is an empty bucket that I have. I have a red lid on this specific bucket because it is the bucket that I put my hard red wheat in. And right over here, I have two buckets stacked up. One of them is a bucket of hard white that's here on the bottom. And it has a white gamma seal lid on it. And then the bucket on top is a bucket of black eyed peas. And the bucket of wheat, they label all of their items. The bucket of wheat, it is actually 45 pounds. It is a six gallon bucket. And the black eyed peas is also a six gallon bucket. And the weight on the black eyed peas is 38 pounds. So as you can see, even though it's the same size bucket, the weight is definitely gonna vary depending on the actual ingredient or food product that is in the wheat. Oh, that's heavy. All right, because those are both full. All right, so this is my empty bucket. Um, I do use the Gamma Seal lids. Now, uh, what I was going to show you, whenever you get a bucket from Bread Beckers, and your supplier may be the same, it's just going to it's gonna be a sealed bucket. And these buckets come guaranteed. They have been gassed or flushed with CO2 gas to kill any bugs or... Uh, eggs that are in the wheat naturally as they come out of the harvest field that's just part of um gardening so they gas they flush these with the gas to kill any of those um undesirables and then they're sealed tightly and these are actually a bit of a trick to take the lid off um, they actually offer a tool that you can purchase to help you um, get that off but it has these little slits you cut those open all the way around and then you just pull the seal off at the opening point comes off and then you can put your gamma seal lid on there okay the gamma seal lid they come in a variety of colors what it is um and you can purchase these from different locations Fred Becker's has them amazon i don't know who all oh that one's on there tight it's easier to open once it's actually on a bucket. So, oh, there it goes. I'm just moving the wrong part. So, it, you have the lid. What it is, is it's just a little seal, and you snap that onto the top of your bucket, and then you can screw the lid on and off as needed, or whatever you want to get into your bucket, and it makes it easier for you to get into your bucket okay there we go i was just holding the wrong thing that's why i can't get it open all right so there and then you can color coordinate um white red's easy i have a blue lid on my soft white wheat um these are really great and so what i do um i just refill my buckets that have my gamma seal lids on them okay so oh if you want to see the difference side by side view this is a five gallon bucket sitting beside the six gallon bucket okay so that's got the gamma lid on it okay all right so i think i told you everything i wanted to tell you about the buckets hope so um all right so next um during the cooler months of the year bread beckers offer 
offers or has bags of wheat. And this is really convenient because it's more economical. Um, these are shipped or these are ordered from the supplier um, in the bags. So these come to Red Becker's already bagged up. These are not treated with any with the CO2 to prevent um, the, the bugs or the eggs from harvesting or what have you inside of the wheat or in the wheat itself. So um, what you wanna do or what I do, different people um, do different things, but what works for me and what you may wanna consider. Um, I have seen more people use dry ice, um, but what I do is I put mine in the freezer. Um, different people, different pe uh, search engines, you can look it up online. They recommend that you freeze your bags for 72 hours. Um, I definitely do that. Sometimes I do it longer just because I do. Um, so this is 50 pounds. The bucket is 45 pounds. So clearly I'm getting five pounds more of wheat and it is less expensive than buying a bucket. So this is the most economical way to go as far as restocking your stash of um, grain. And two, I'm not buying a bucket that I don't need. I'm already, I'm just simply refilling the one that I already have. So I'll show you how I go about that. So like I said, oh, and very importantly, so once it comes out of the freezer, yes, it is going to have condensation on it. I um, can tell this bag has not been compromised. It was in the freezer. Yes, I probably need to be a little bit more careful with it. You can see where it's been drug across the floor. Um, it's a pretty tough bag. And then it gets in the freezer. So it has a very easy um, tear off top. And then the grain is down inside there. Isn't that pretty? You know, um, I've seen different people post pictures of the wheat that they buy from various suppliers, and sometimes there's a lot of chaff or chafe, however you pronounce it, um, little sticks. Um, just kind of trash. I will tell you this. I have never seen any of that in Red Becker's grains. So, I could. Now, one thing too, I keep, like if I go to a restaurant and my kid gets a cup, I like to keep these inside of my five gallon buckets. These are a good scoop. Um, I'm not going to try, oh, I'm not going to try to pour, um, all, all 50 pounds in there at one time. But I'm going to stand up to make this easier. I'll pour in just a second. Oops, I keep spilling the wheat. That's catching on the handle. All right. So that you see it. There's the bucket of wheat. I just sit my lid down in there, or my cup down in there, so then when I need to do a refill, and I'll show you how I, how I do that. So what I actually do is I have, um, Rebecca sells a smaller bucket, they call it a pail, and I take an empty pail and I'll put 
I like to mix my red and white. In fact, I'm not sure if you can see. You can see the different colors of the layers. I like to mix my red and white wheat when I make my bread. And so what I do is I fill this up, then I take this and I leave this in the drawer in my kitchen. And then when I need to make bread, I scoop from here. And then when this gets empty, I come to my red and my white buckets. And I just simply open these up and refill my smaller bucket. So um, let's see. Oh, I certainly do get your workout in when you're messing with 50 pounds or 45 pounds of wheat. So this is just an empty <clears throat> Ziploc bag. I filled, let's see. So you, you saw me uh, fill my bucket up, my red bucket up. Now, you know that I'm clearly going to have extra wheat left in my bag because the bucket only holds 45 pounds, but I have five pounds of wheat left. And then I did little, leave a little room in the top so I can um, put my cup in there and the Gamma Seal lid has room to close. So I've got my scale right here. And I still have 13, 13 pounds. Gosh, that seems awfully hard. Left. I could put a little bit more wheat in this bucket. But what, what doesn't fit in the bucket, I'm going to have to find somewhere else. Store it, or I could just roll up the bag. Um, I've done that before too. It's kind of like you roll down the cereal bag, I roll down the top of my wheat bag. That's plenty tight. Got that as full as it's going to be. Okay, let's play it again and see. Eight pounds. Eight and a half. So, oops. Um, so, yes, I still have eight and a half pounds of wheat in this bag. So, I think probably what I could do is I could put it in a Ziploc bag or I could put it into a smaller plastic container I could put it in a pail um, but probably what I'm gonna do is just roll it down like that and then whenever I go to refill my pail that I put in my kitchen I'll dip from this first um, to fill this up and then once this is used up then I can go to my bucket so that's pretty much it it's pretty simple um i would not um i don't advise against buying bags i've been doing it for years saved a lot of money over the years by purchasing the bags instead of the buckets now in the summer when i need a refill obviously i'll have to buy a bucket because they're not going to sell the bags of grain in the summer that's how bread Beckers does your supplier may operate differently um, if you have any questions, please let me know. I hope this has been helpful to you as you're making the decision on what's going to be best for your kitchen. And best wishes to you as on your journey of milling wheat and making um, freshly milled wheat products for yourself and your family. I wish you all the best. If you will, please give me a like to this video and a subscribe to my channel. I sure would appreciate it. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you next time. Thanks.